Now, usually, I try to make videos that inspire you to travel or chase your dreams, and I'd much rather you watch those. But I do realize that a lot of times, chasing your dreams end up becoming a business. So I thought I'd lend a helping hand or two. Okay, so we are still on loan types. Let me pick this up, loan types. And now we're talking about amortized loans. What are they? they they're the loans that you're most likely more familiar with, but you probably don't realize it. Uh, your mortgages are structured this way. Uh, student loans are structured this way. Uh, basically, loans that everyday people experience. Uh, and what it basically entails is that the borrower is going to be paying off the interest, a mix of the interest and the principal over the span of um of the 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 loan okay so the payments you're going to be making it's going to be a mix of the principal and the interest so let me just give you a quick example let's just draw this out really quickly and i'm going to compare um i'm going to use an example so i'm going to say that we're borrowing a hundred thousand dollars actually no let's 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 keep it let's say ten thousand dollars just to keep it simple all right so ten thousand dollars is our principal so we're borrowing ten thousand dollars and i'm going to walk you through an example where we see eventually um amortized how this principal is paid back and interest only how it's paid back and at the same time um pure discount loan how it's paid back so ten thousand dollars and we'll say there's a return um of ten percent over ten months because i want to keep this very very simple so this loan has a special rate. It has to be paid off after 10 months, no option. 10 months. And the return is going to be 10%. So 10% interest rate. Okay? So let's do that. Let's go zero. We'll make a line all the way. No, it's not very straight, but whatever. All the way to 10. Okay, we'll start with zero and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, got very lucky with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then obviously 10. So at the end of this 10 month um, time span, the return of whoever's lending the money is going to be 10%, right? So no matter what, in every single loan here that we're seeing, there's going to be a gain for the lender of, uh, it looks like 10%, so $1,000, all right? Interest in total will be $1,000, but let's see how it's collected. So $1,000 we're looking at. Boom, actually, yeah, that's it's fine in red. Okay, so for a pure discount loan, all you would do is purchase, you would purchase this document, this bill, whatever it is, and you would you purchase an agreement that says, okay, I will purchase this document here for $9,000 in the very beginning. But at the end of 10 months, you must give me $10,000. All right, that's that's this more or less how it would work. Okay, so you would get back a um you would you'd pay nine thousand dollars, but you would get back ten thousand dollars. So that's if you were the person lending the money, correct? Now, if we're talking about the next type, interest only loan. I'm again that factory owner and I need to raise some money. So you come up to me, you purchase one of my bonds and I agree. You give me $10,000 for the piece of paper. And then what I do is I make payments. I go, all right, here's a, here's a hundred dollars. Here's another hundred dollars. Here's another hundred dollars. All right. So every month, that's just the agreement we have. This is how the bond would work until the last month. All right, so if you do the math with an interest-only loan, I would have paid $100 10 times. So $100 times 10 is going to equal that $1,000. All right? And then at the, you know, after the last payment, when I give you that last $100, I'm also going to return the $10,000 that you spent. 
Okay. That's it. That's simple. So you still gain the thousand dollars. So do you see here how you know you, you gain a thousand dollars with the pure discount loan? So you purchase for nine thousand and eventually the face value you get ten thousand. All right. So you're lending the money and you're going to get back a thousand dollars. Here, when it comes to the interest only loan, you're going to get periodic payments month to month. Okay, that's just the agreement and it's only over a 10 month basis unrealistic when it comes to bonds but just to kind of clarify how it, it all works for you and now with the amortized loan this is what happens you're going to get it's easier if i just draw it out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay da, 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 i'm excited to do this one so each bar here is the total amount of money you're paying that you're going to be getting back, all right? So you loaned the money out, you loaned the $10,000, and month to month you need a payment. So you're going to collect a payment of 1,100, okay? Oh, sorry, that's way off camera. So you're gonna collect the payment on a month to month basis of 1,100 because you've mixed it in. You've mixed in the principal and you've mixed in the interest. All right, so you let out $10,000 if you divide that $10,000 over and the interest over a 10-month period, you have to collect $1,100. So this is how it works and how, how the mix works when it comes to amortized loans. All right. So eventually, you're going to you lent out $10,000. You're going to get back the $11,000. All right. You're still going to make that $1,000 uh, gain, that return. But this is what happens. The person you lent the money to pays more of a chunk of interest in the beginning and then they start paying off the principal. All right? So here, in the beginning, they're mostly just paying off the interest. All right, so we'll say the red is interest. See how it's getting smaller and smaller? They're paying less and less interest as time goes on. All right? And then as time goes on at the same time, they're paying off principal. So the green represents principal. All right, the principal is getting larger, so you're, but you're paying off a mix. That's my point. So let's just write principal, and then yeah, in red we can just keep it with red. We'll write interest on the bottom, but you're still collecting a difference of a thousand dollars. That's your return for lending out this ten thousand dollars. It, that's, that's just how it works. So you see how with amortized loans, it's mixed in. All right, so the borrower, whoever borrows the money is going to be paying a mix of the principal and the interest. But usually the way the deal is structured, the payments are structured, in the beginning, you're mostly just paying off interest. And then you start creeping more and more into your principal. All right, that's it, guys, for your last type of loan, at least the last type that I'm going to go over. Hope you understand them. Thank you so much for watching. Turning a dream into a reality usually ends up becoming your business. That is why we have the Helping Hands videos. Subscribe, like, and feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Fans of Kindness, our Facebook page, is also waiting for you. See you in the next video. Until then, be your best and never stop learning.